Hi, Shell Point. I'm Melody Desolet, joined today by Bob Southern, Director of Project Development. And you may be wondering why we are outside on this beautiful day. And Bob is here to tell us a little bit more and about that strange contraption you see right behind him. So, Bob, thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. Where are we? Well, we're on the bridge to the island in the middle of the little pond on the island at Shell Point. And it was dug to uh, get fill to build and it was dug to hold water uh, during storm runoff and whatnot. And we also draw the water for our irrigation from this pond to irrigate the entire island. So it's functional and it's beautiful. And when we're done, it's gonna be more beautiful. Uh, we are uh, in the early stages of embarking on an enhancement project to this little pond in the island uh, that will ultimately uh, result in the complete replacement and rebuilding of this island. It'll become a more formal feature then with uh, uh, seating walls and uh, nice concrete uh, work, landscaping, two new bridges that will uh, approach this um, island from the, the banks. Um, bridges will be flat and wide, so they're very accommodating for everybody, very attractive. So we're aiming to create a nice focal point here and a place to sit and enjoy uh, the, the beauty of the center of the island. And uh, what we have here uh, part of this project are going to be three uh, statues, uh, stainless steel statues, similar to the statues that we put in Friendship Point, made from stainless steel. And uh, they're going to be uh, of rosette spoonbills. And there's going to be three of them. And uh, they will be in various uh, three different images of what they look like flying. And they'll be mounted on rods that go down into the water so it'll look like they're actually skimming over the water. So what we're here today was testing models of them for positioning in the pond and the size of them to make sure that we were on the right track before they actually start making these stainless steel statues, which will start happening quickly now. And uh, in addition, we're uh, going to have a, a structure we call the porch on the pond, which will be over uh, out in front of Periwinkle, and it will be a, a structure that, uh, uh, that will extend out over the water with a trellis on it, uh, a water feature, and benches and seating areas so that you can have some place to actually come and sit nicely over there to position so that the, these uh, statues will be uh, very prominent in the view from this feature. And then finally, we're gonna have behind that uh, a grassy area with some landscaping that can be used for playing uh, lawn games and things of that nature. And then some additional landscaping around the lake as well. Uh, so that process is um, uh, starting to ramp up in regard to what we need to do to design these features, uh, to, to permit this work, and uh, get ready to start construction uh, somewhere around May, early May, we hope, finish in the, in the fall. Wonderful. And this comes from the generosity of one donor in particular. You had mentioned that the spoonbills are kind of replicated from what we see in Friendship Point. And we're trying to keep a sense of consistency there. And also the fact of our generous donor being the same person who actually redid Friendship Point for us, and that's Maggie Tribby. Yes, uh, Maggie um, worked with us uh, and was so generous in funding what we did at Friendship Point. And uh, I think she enjoyed what we did down there and had fun with it and decided she'd like to do another one. So that's what we're, how we came to be out here. And we've got the same uh, artist now, a sculptor, making these birds as made the, the herons, so the blue herons at Friendship Point. So we do ma maintain the continuity and style and uh, material. What we're gonna try and do with these birds, since they're rosy at spoonbills, you don't have a lot of pink in them. We're gonna try and, and incorporate some um, like hints of pink in amongst the stainless steel with stained glass or something. We haven't figured that out yet, but so you know what you're looking at. Not a lot of pink that would be gaudy, but just enough to bring a nice little touch of, um, of what they are, what they represent. Tell us a little bit more about what's going to happen to the nature here, because I know we do have a lot of birders on the island. We have a lot of species of birds that come here. Touch on that a little bit. Well, I, I have uh, talked to uh, a couple of folks that are wondering about the birds and the impact to them, and I've been a lifelong lover of birds myself since I was a kid and very interested in them. Uh, so I'm very sensitive to that. Um, we're going to do our best to minimize uh, any impact to the birds. 
Uh, the timing will be later in the, the spring, obviously early summer before we start when that part of the, uh, you know, the heavy birding down here is, is winding down. Um, and I, there will be obviously some disruption when we're out here doing the work we have to do. But I think after it's all said and done, um, the birds are going to be fine in the lake and they're probably going to be sitting on a lot of these things that we uh, are going to put in because that's what birds do. Um, and uh, I, I look forward to seeing them here as they have ever been. And uh, we will do our best to be sensitive to impact of them while we're building it. Mm -hmm. well, I am sure our residents will use this area. Um, currently, it seems a little bit underutilized. Would you agree with that? Well, it, it certainly is underutilized and it's very tired. It has been very tired looking around here um, for quite a long while, quite frankly. And I think that when all said and done, this is going to uh, maintain the integrity of our, our lake and the generally speaking the natural feel of it even though we built all this lake it was never here to begin with we made it um, but as well as it will create places that will allow more folks to come out and enjoy it and be close to it and then enjoy enjoy the birds and the you know all the turtles that swim out here who I think folks must be feeding because they sure do swim toward us when we're standing out here that is true uh, there are some <laughs> turtles visiting us right now um, just standing here, you feel a sort of ambience of peace and reflection, and and it's a nice spot. It's a it's a lovely area. Um, touch on what our residents can expect when all is said and done. Well, um, when it's when it's done, you you will see uh, some of the man uh, the landscaping and the banks untouched. Most of this on the northern end will be untouched. These old bridges will be gone. We'll have new attractive bridges that are going to be wider and flat. So again, easier for uh, people that have mobility issues or they're in uh, wheelchairs or whatever other devices that we want it easy for folks to get over here. This island will be more formal in, in look and it will have seawall all the way around it creating this island. There'll be um, concrete seating walls in there as well as traditional benches and some decorative feature and some nice landscaping in here. Uh, so this is going to be, instead of just kind of the haphazardly, they piled a bunch of dirt here and stuff grew on it, look that it has now, it'll be a really nice feature. Uh, and then uh, off in that direction, kind of where the seawall kicks out, all this old seawall will be removed, uh, will be where the, this porch will be with a nice trellis on it, supposed to be, uh, to be designed yet, but a water feature that runs all the way to the back, along the back of this um, uh, this porch with the trellis over it so that there'd be a little light water sound and water movement in there so it's not just dead silent um, with nice seating and a bit of shade to it and just a good place to sit and relax and enjoy the beauty that is Shell Point. Excellent. Well, Shell Point, you just heard about what is going to be happening in the future here at the Island Pond uh, here behind the Resident Activity Center. Bob, it sounds like you have all your ducks in a row. Whoa. No pun intended, <laughs> but I am sure we are all excited to see what great things are in store for this beautiful area. And we just want to show our appreciation to Maggie for your wonderful gift. Thank you so much for allowing us to make this happen for the greater good of Shell Point and those who will be here in the future. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks, Maggie.